some stores this morning all right guys so i'm at bath and body works they have buy three get three free which i y'all know how i love my stress stuff like i use this for my bath my nighttime routine also if you have coupons today's the last day i know you guys are going to be seeing this on sunday this is saturday but um they have their 20 percent off your entire purchase it ends tomorrow so i think i'm going to post this on instagram just in case you know any of you willing to you know come to bath and body i thought this was another one but it's not but yeah y'all know i'm all about the coupons <laughs> so just want to let you guys know they probably have another one and then also the candles are 5.95 just the like small ones and also all hand soaps are 3.50 so in case you guys want to get some hand soaps, they are $3.50. All right, guys. So real quick, I want to show you what I got from Ulta. So this is Way. I love this perfume. It's like a nice light scent. So if you're a person who doesn't like heavy scented perfumes or even body wash, this definitely is for you. It's very light. Um, but this is the Scalp and body scrub that i purchased also i purchased the body cleanser this is bath bombs and hand wash and hand lotion so i don't know i just felt like i wanted to just you know buy a couple things also you guys know i went to Bath and Body Works. So let me just show you guys what I purchased. So this is for like my night routine. I kind of like to wind down and I am going to start incorporating that a little bit more in my week. <clears throat> so I decided to go ahead and buy the Aromatherapy Sleep. This is the lotion and this is the Lavender Sleep Body Wash or Foam Bath. And then I went on and got the Lavender Vanilla Bath Soap. This has is like with vitamin E and sea salt. And then I got... Oh, guys. Oh, one hand. I got the candle. And then I went to um, TJ Maxx. And I got this, which is really good. So this is going to be a part of my spa day that I'm going to go ahead and give myself. Ooh, ooh. Don't drop now. And I also purchased this. It's like so pretty. This is from TJ Maxx. This was $5.99. And I just like to put it on like my body, my legs. So yeah, that's all I purchase. Say happy Halloween, everybody. Penny. Say I'm a little fairy. Penny. Penny girl. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Say I'm a little fairy. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's a little hectic today. Um, we just got asked to go to the World Series Phillies game and it's Halloween y'all. So I am going to try to juggle both. So I'm like out with Penny. The kids just ran. My neighbor is having chili and hot dogs. So um, I'm like in the process of trying to do trick-or-treating 
and get ready to leave to go to this Phillies World Series game. <laughs> so we shall see how this all pan out to be. Just got off of work, left work early because there was no way I was going to be able to do all this. So I'm going to try to spend an hour and let the kids trick or treat. Me and babe are leaving. And then Samaya is going to go ahead and take the kids, finish taking them trick or treating for me. And then she's going to like a Halloween party. So stay tuned. Look at Penny boyfriend Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Are you Lisa? Are you, what are you, Lisa? A devil. Oh. That's something new. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> it's because my eyes keep getting watery because it's like outside and coming my eye. So that was my I don't dinner. want my mouth still to run. Wow, look at this house, guys. Whoa. This lady got a lot going on here. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Kyle, 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 no, where are you going? They're not ready, They're not ready yet. Six and eight thirty. Oh my lord, this boy. Read, boy. How cool is this? Here is horse. We pack out here. Got all the people lining up. Maybe they're ready now. She have like a whole little show over here. But we need to go to the game, so we gotta leave. And we're going in the house. We're gonna be late for the darn game. That's some of these kids. Look at my kids. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this lady wasn't playing. Like, you gotta walk all this. Look at my kids. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this. She got adult drinks. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, it's the next day. Um, my glasses is crooked, probably because they fell and then I stepped on them by accident. I have had the craziest 24 hours. So I think the last time I talked to you guys, we were trick or treating. I was supposed to go to the game. The game got canceled. We drove all the way down to Philly. The game got canceled. We came back home. This morning I left my keys and everything in the car. <laughs> So I couldn't even drive my car to work. So I drove my mom car, which I'm still in her car. I drove my mom car to work. Then I get a call from Cairo's nurse that Cairo fell and he might have a concussion. So I left work and I had to go pick up Cairo from school. And now I'm on my way to CHOP. So... And the game got postponed to today. So the game is tonight. So I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing with my life right now. So I just want to kindly, kindly give you guys an update of what's going on. <sighs> Y'all, I just feel like sometimes when it rains, it pours. But I'll talk to you guys soon. We are here. Let's hope we're not in here all day, y'all. <laughs> My son always hurting himself. So we're back in a car. So at this Children's Hospital Philadelphia Urgent Care Center, it's an urgent care and it's something else. But unfortunately, they only have the urgent care Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So we have to find another urgent care. <sighs> Yo, I am just... But today is Tuesday. Yeah, it's at a different location. And the location is like almost 45 minutes from where we All right, we're going to try this family urgent care. See if they can see Mr. Cairo. Okay, you almost tripped. Oh my goodness, you're all helping. Uh, okay, oh, we're at another location of Children's Hospital in Philadelphia. 
Wish me luck, guys. And my phone is about to die. Great. All right, I'm back home. Um, I didn't have any luck with anything. I'm just irritated. I I like literally broke down in a car at the moment because I just feel like there's just so much, um, just happening right now. It's just a lot, and I think this is just like put the icing on the cake with Cairo. Um, so let me just like sit down and tell you guys basically what happened. Um, I kind of previously told you guys. So anyway, we were supposed to go to the game. They postponed the game. So my husband and I went to Philly. I left my keys in his car. So when I woke up to go to work, I'm like rushing to go to work. And I can't find my keys. So then I had to take my mom's car to work. Get a call from my job. I mean, get a call from Cairo School saying that he was playing a game and it's something called Gaga. It's like dodgeball. But he was playing a game and the little boy went to go leap and hit Cairo, knocked him down on the ground or whatever. But first when she called me, she said something about it was like concrete. But then when I picked Cairo up, she clarified it and said there's like a grassy pad. So, you know, the reason why she told me to pick up Cairo and she thought he had like a concussion was because Cairo wasn't being responsive he was like wobbling over the place. And if you know my son, like if you know me personally, then you probably know my son like is stubborn and Carol doesn't answer. Like he, like if he's in one of his moods, he's not going to answer you. It doesn't matter who you are. So I left work frantic because I'm just like, oh my God, like what the hell? Then I get there and he's like, hi mom. So I'm like, you good? He get up, walk. Talk my whole head off in a car, want food, everything. So I called our primary doctor and they was like, you know, it don't seem like he has a concussion, but you want to get him evaluated. So I'm like, okay. So she's like, take him to the closest urgent care to get him evaluated. We don't have any appointments today. So I take him to the closest urgent care and they told me Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, the urgent care for CHOP kids is not there is at another location so you guys know i'm supposed to go to the game tonight so i'm like okay before i go to that far location let me try another you know an urgent care that's close to our home i go to that urgent care they're like oh sorry we don't evaluate um we don't evaluate concussions so i'm like okay so then i drive all the way to the other one you guys i lied to you and i was probably 20 kids in your coffin hacking like it was like a freaking sick show when I walked into that urgent care so I you know I signed in and then the lady was like oh it's gonna probably be two hours and a half wait for us to even register you I'm like what and currently is it was like 3 30 almost no it was like four o'clock and I'm supposed to go to the Phillies game tonight. And I'm like, hold on. And I know y'all like, girl, but your son might have a concussion. If y'all would have seen Cairo, y'all would have been like, he's okay. And the girl was like, um, well, what's wrong with him? I'm like, he fell at school. He's perfectly, to me, he's perfectly fine. But, and then she was like, well, then she did this to Cairo. And was like, you know, can you, do your neck hurt? Do your head, like, she was just asking questions or whatever. And Cairo was like, no, his head didn't hurt. It only hurt it like when he, um, when it, when, you know, when he first did it, he had a headache, but he don't have a headache anymore and he can follow without moving his ass. So anyway, he was skipping around the place and everything. He was perfectly fine. So the lady was like, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a long wait. So I'm like, okay, well just give me, you know, I'll give you my number. Just call me. I left and now I'm here and now I'm about to get in the shower and go to this game. Cairo cried to go outside my highlights outside playing with her friends. He cried to go outside. So I'm like, go outside. You wanna you wanna go outside? Go outside. It's nothing wrong with him. He is perfectly fine. That is Cairo. He will exaggerate. He's extra. The little boy probably didn't even hit him this hit him that hard. He said the little boy fell on top of him on his stomach and like chest. And y'all see my son. My son is big. So it's not like he had like head on head collision or somebody need him into like it wasn't like that. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys what was going on. I'm telling you. 
So I'm about to get in the shower. I'm about to get ready to go to this game because I'm like, and look, I told the lady, I'm like, I have tickets to the World Series game tonight. She was like, what? She's like, girl, he looked fine to me. Go to the game. <laughs> I'm like, exactly. Like, he's fine. There's nothing wrong with this boy. But all right, I'm about to get ready so I can get ready to go to this game. And I will talk to you guys or see you guys when I get back. Please follow all safety guidelines when riding any set of Caught a flat. <laughs> it's real life. It is currently time is like twelve something in the morning. Hold on, y'all. Twelve forty two in the morning, and then we have a flat. I'm telling you, this day cannot get any more crazier. From Cairo being sick to the game. That was fun though. The game was fun. And now we have a flat. And I have to edit this video. I don't I don't know what time I'm going to bed tonight. You're not going to bed. <laughs> Literally don't know what time I'm going to bed tonight. Hold on, I gotta turn some light on in here. But yeah. Hey guys, I am currently at Chickens and Peeps by myself. I know I look busted. I remember I told you guys my husband's car. Um, Are y'all finished? No, 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 not yet. Thank okay, you. Gotcha, yeah. yeah, thank you. Um, I was telling you guys like, yesterday my husband's car, we had a flat. So this morning um, he took my car to work. <clears throat> and I just dropped his car off. And it's like a Chickens and Peeps near where we dropped his car off. So I just came and got me something to eat. I just had some crabs and I'm waiting for my muscles. Got a little shrimp to pull with y'all. And I'm in here busted as hell, y'all. I just can't, I just threw on some clothes. Y'all know how y'all in the house. Um, I'm already was tired because of the game last night and then just watching over Cairo and he's fine. He's perfectly fine. He went to school today. But I'm like, all right, let me just run his car to, you know, the dealership thinking i'm gonna just drop it off wait a couple of minutes they like an hour and a half i'm like what <laughs> so i'm like okay well here's the chickies and peas and you know what's crazy i never um 
I never ate by myself. This is my first time ever eating by myself. And I can honestly say I enjoy it. Like just sitting here quiet eating my food. I have grew a lot. And in, in saying that I mean with growth, being comfortable within myself. There was a time I could never eat by myself. But y'all, y'all should try it. I'm telling you. You should try it. But um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm just waiting for my muscles. I'll show you guys the muscles once they come. But other than that, um, I'll see you guys on Sunday. So my muscles is here. I got white sauce. And I'm just sitting here watching a little bit of TV by myself. Until next time, guys. I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you.